Hi, I'm your host, Faith Enwa, with ICIndyMag.com, your social media, where we're just one click away. I'm here live at the Cabaret at the Columbia Club at our beautiful downtown Indianapolis, Indiana, waiting on no other than Kevin Mahogany to perform his vocal jazz. I can't wait to see him, and neither can you, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Some cats work from nine to five, change their life for a lifetime. Never had foresight to see where those changes had to be. Thought that they had heard the word, thought it all but had a word, but was still swimming. Where are those who stayed around? Came up with a brand new sound. Set the band to groove. This music makes the people move. But not everybody got the word. Thought it all out of the word. We're still Thank you. 
I'm Faith and why and I am here with no other than Kevin Mahogany. Kevin, how are you doing this evening after that wonderful show that you just gave Indianapolis, Indiana? I'm having a good time. Everything's going fine. Thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Sound a little bit like Wendy. How you doing? Actually, I'm doing fine. And, and doing your show, you are somewhat of a comedian. Where do you get that from? Well, that's part of it. For me, it's, it's, that's part of entertaining. I mean, when people spend a lot of money to come out to see a show now, it's not enough just to, to sing pretty or look nice. They want to be fully entertained, so I try and engage my audience also. And that's part of it. That's all. And born and raised in Kansas City? Yes, yes, Kansas City, Missouri. Born and raised. I even wrote a couple of songs about that, too. <laughs> so. Can you sing about it? <laughs> you want to hear it? Here it goes. <laughs> okay, so you are known for the, I call it the three Bs, bebop, blues, and ballads. Which one do you enjoy doing the most? Well, I think like most singers, we all think we can do ballads so well, and I enjoy singing ballads, and uh, sometimes it's hard for me to put my set together because it's so ballad heavy, but uh, so I, I think I'd have to say ballads, but I, I love doing all of them, so uh, you know, it doesn't matter as much, but if I, if I had to sing, I'd rather do a ballad some days, you know. And so, speaking of singing, when did you finally realize that singing was your true talent? Because you also play the piano and other instruments, but you really like to sing. When did you find out that was your true talent? Well, I, I was actually singing at a very young age, but it seemed like everyone around me could sing also. And so that was, um, it was a little bit of a dilemma, especially in schools, you know, talent contests, there were so many singers. So, but I had the, the blessing of being able to play a saxophone also. So at that time I focused more on that and I didn't really focus on singing until about my senior year in high school. And then once I did that and made that decision, uh, it made things a little easier for me. I'm sure there's a lot of things that people have to say about you, but Newsweek, they really called you a standout jazz vocalist. When you saw that in the papers, how did that make you feel that you were a standout? Well, anytime someone says something positive for you about you in that vein, it's good to know. And, you know, sometimes the labels are, are okay, and I don't mind being called a standout jazz vocalist. I'd like to just be a standout vocalist, period, because I, I happen to sing more jazz material, but I'm able to sing more than that. Mm, can I get a little something else more than that? Uh, you know, I, I don't. I, it's sometimes hard to do that off the top of your head, you know. But um, let me see. Let me take you home, if only for one night. Let me hold you dear to ease away your fears. It would be so nice, if only for one night. <laughs> oh man, I know they can't see me, but whoa, <laughs> melting. Oh man. You know, when you were singing earlier, I thought that I said, boy, you really could probably sing a Luther song. Very, very good. Can you just tell me real quick about your journey with uh, Warner Brothers? I read a little bit about that as well. Well, I was, uh, I was on Warner Brothers. I did uh, three projects for them under the label, but uh, that, well, I mean, that was actually my second record label. And everything went well. We had we had a good run there. And uh, my second album for them, I think it was the second release for them, was like the biggest seller that I'd had, and uh, called My Romance. So I had a great time. It was a great exposure for me. But unfortunately, uh, near the end of my run there, you know, the jazz, the bigger labels were starting to, I guess, lack of a better word, crumble. And so I got kind of caught up in that as well. And uh, so they released me, and and we just parted ways. And I continue on to do my thing. And speaking of doing your thing, you are somewhat of an entrepreneur and talking about labels, let's talk about yours. Oh, 
Okay, well, thank you. I, I have my own label called Mahogany Jazz, as well as Mahogany Digital, which does digital releases for myself, another artist by the name of Kathy Cousins, and a young man by the name of Greg Hall out of Baltimore. So we're trying to, you know, we're starting small, and hopefully uh, Kathy's got a, a pretty good career going already. She works quite a bit and has released some wonderful music. Uh, Jeff is... Uh, Jeff Hall is doing better, and we we hope to do more for him. And then I'm just kind of rolling along, just want to keep myself going. I travel and tour so much, sometimes it's hard to keep up with it, but we're doing okay. Okay, great. Well, I'm sure Ian Evans was happy to have you here only for one night. And great last question, um, what's next for you? Well, for me, I go back to Kansas City. The most immediate thing is they're opening up the Kemper Performing Arts Center, and I'm going to be there for the grand opening of that. I'm performing there. And then I've got a, about a month and a half in Europe that I'm going to be touring all over Europe. And uh, that's going to keep me busy up until the holidays because I just found out today that I'm going to be going to China from Europe. So that works out okay for me. You got your shots yet? <laughs> I always keep, I, you have to keep your shots up when you do this much traveling. That's right. So. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time and answering all those questions. You. I'm your host, Faith Noir, and we'll see you next time. With Oh!